Hey Cancer, welcome to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Uh, keep in mind, energy can go vice versa. And just take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest out. Please don't try to make anything fit that doesn't. Okay, last one. All right. We have luck is on your side. The energy is gaining momentum here. So it looks like things are changing in the direction in your favor. Uh, it seems like a call to swift action, okay, for someone is what I'm feeling. We have, I wish I had treated you better with we will be together again. So it looks like this person might have some regrets here on how things went down, uh, especially how they treated you. They want to be together again. Overall energy of the two of wands. This is about being at a crossroads here, making a decision. I just heard the right decision. So this might have been in, work, in the works for a while, uh, but this person might have hesitated here. So let's see what's in your current energy. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, please. Cancer. We have the Six of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So it looks like you're you're getting over something with this person. They might have abandoned you here. You might have felt just rejected, okay? I almost at a loss for words in this situation. You really don't know what to make of it. But you're really, Six of Wands, you're overcoming this, right? You really feel like, okay, things are what they are here in the Ace of Swords, uh, it's very clear to you now, and you're feeling pretty good about where you're at emotionally, as well as just moving forward. So let's see what's going on in their current energy here. I just heard, if they left me, I'm letting them leave me. Like... There's a sense of, you know, people are seasonal here. So if this is a seasonal person, if they're not meant to be in my life for a long period of time, then so be it. Like there's this acceptance here of just letting things go. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles. So this person's holding back right now. They do want to come forward and offer you, um, and ex offer you up love, but express themselves on how they feel about you and how they felt about you for a while. So they want to go back to the beginning and tell you about some things that they didn't make very clear in the beginning. Uh, tell about the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. Yeah, they know they've hurt you here. So, and they know they've been in, not been in contact with you for a while. And in the Nine of Wands, you know, this they knew they were unpredictable. They knew they put you in a position where you couldn't uh, really understand what they were up to or what they were doing here. But in the Five of Cups, this makes them very regretful and sad that they did this to you. And they know that you're, they've hurt you deeply, that the possibilities of coming back, they have to be very careful here. Uh, let's see what's happened in the past. We have the King of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So in the past, uh, it looked like you you let this person know you were truly devoted to them. Um, it shows that you you did everything you can or you could, okay, at the time uh, with what was happening, okay? Because there's something that was happening here, uh, and it could have been in this person's environment or how they were dealing with this connection, uh, that made it difficult for you to express your love, but you did. You were truly devoted and any struggle that came your way or any conflict, you dealt with it uh, like a true champion here. The King of Wands, this person was very passionate towards you. You felt like when they did talk to you, they were always um, like excited to just uh, want to be in your energy. They felt like um, also an intimacy factor. They felt very attracted to you here, felt like this connection was 
uh, yeah, very intoxicating or uh, very extreme here. But the Six of Swords, uh, you know, it's like things like became a bit dull after a while, right? Seems like their energy slowed down, the momentum changed, and they didn't seem as interested as they were in the past. Uh, tell me about the Six of Swords. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you kind of felt like, are they not contacting me more or are they leaving me more because they found something more interesting here and they're moving towards something that would excite them? Am, have I become boring or did their feelings change for me? So there was a lot of things left unsaid and a lot of unanswered questions that you had uh, with this person. <clears throat> and it's like they feel they need to tell you something from the past or something that happened or uh, give an explanation to you here. So let's see what the challenge was here. We have the Nine of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, please. Spirit, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Eight of Swords, Justice four of swords. So it's showing me that this person had other commitments, but they were stuck in a contract. Now, whether this contract was a third party, a marriage, it could be anything where they felt they had to devote most of their time to. Uh, Eight of Swords Justice is also for some of you, for a select few, this person could have been uh, physically trapped, okay? Could have been in jail or probation, something that didn't allow them to do what they wanted to do with you in the current uh, in the current moment. So five of wands, this became very frustrating. Okay, this was hard to kind of uh, navigate through the situation to see like if this person was being honest and truthful. Was it because of what they had to deal with and they were trapped inside of either a marriage or possibly in prison or something like that? or they were trying to finish out a sentence here. There's something um, that you kind of questioned if it was real or not. Um, and for those of you that knew it was real, if this person was in prison or something like that, um, you felt like their intentions towards you just faded. Like they didn't feel like they, you didn't feel like they were going to be as into you as before. Uh, Tell about the five of wands. It's like their mood changed here. I just heard, yeah, they were bipolar or extremely moody. So some of them might have, you know, mood issues. Uh, not for everyone. Okay, that's just a message for someone. Uh, five of Wands, Ten of Cups. Yeah, to get to this committed point, you know, the love was there. The love between you two is extreme. Nine of Cups, this person did things and took risks where they shouldn't have. And the consequences of them left them very trapped, okay? Left them in a situation where um, it kind of tightened the reins even on, on the effects of this uh, connection because they weren't able to do as much as they were before. So they had to really get serious with their life and focus on what they needed to fix and uh, before they could actually come back here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Five of Swords, Emperor, yeah. It's like they didn't care if it hurt your feelings. You know, there were things also, co possibly codependent behavior as well, or other vices uh, such as drinking or um, partying, things like that. Doesn't have to be, but there's a lot of people I'm reading for, and things are popping up here that the core of it is the same, that this person, no matter what it was that was blocking here, they chose to give in to that, okay? And then the consequences of that action is what tightened the reins on this connection. It made it worse and, and for you, and it made it harder for them to contact you, harder for them to be in your environment. So let me see this uh, emperor here. Let's see if I can get one more detail. Hanged man. Yeah, there was no way. It just left it in limbo. So they couldn't, for some of them, they could not contact you. They couldn't even um, get a hold of you. And if they could, it was just at random times 
where they weren't allowed to speak or if they, um, I just see like someone not being able to get to the phone uh, is what I'm seeing. So let me see this Four of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, could have been stuck in a situation where they owed money here and they have to, you know, they could have been trapped in paying a debt um, that could have left an embarrassment as well. Something where they felt they needed time to themselves to kind of, you know, really get their life back on track. Okay. So let's see what action they're going to take. It seems like now they're getting it taken care of or things are about to change. They know the date of when they'll be released or something, something here where they know they'll be able to come forward. It's coming soon. Temperance Wheel, Ten of Swords. So this situation is definitely coming to an end. But we have the Temperance Wheel. It will always turn around, okay? The wheel must come up as it goes down. Time of the Ten of Swords. King of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they really hit rock bottom in their life, but finally it's coming to an end. Things are getting resolved. This person's getting things taken care of, and they're wanting to come forward. This is what's on their mind. King of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Being able to work together with you uh, as a team to kind of fix this connection. They want to show you that they are highly devoted to you in the King of Cups. And Temperance Wheel, we have a situation where possibly the divine is that has a hand at play in this connection where this was meant to happen for a reason. I call the temperance wheel my cleanup combo where the universe kind of cleans up old residue from situations and allows things to happen on purpose so that it doesn't in the future affect a situation or a connection. Um, and things are starting to turn around in your favor. It's like things that were no long were not possible in the past will become possible now. And whether you decide to take a chance on this person or not, uh, that's up to you. You have free will. But we're going to see exactly the timing, okay, what they're going to do when they're able to take action. Okay, let's see what they're what they're up to as well as the outcome uh, in the situation. If not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I wish you all the best in the situation. I'll see you next time.